A lot of people that come through think that we literally just get a piece of material and put it in the machine and push a green button, and that's not how it works. You need to have the experience, the know-how, how the material is going to work, what needs to be left. There's a lot that goes into it. Hi, my name is Mark Moreno. I've been working at Panavision for over nine years. 14 years. 21 years. Six years. 24 years. 27 years. Started in the Air Force. Aerospace race cars. I view our manufacturing as like a hand, and each division has their own role that makes the hand work. It all starts in the CNC department. At the time, we purchase all the stock necessary to manufacture the part. We do the programming of the part, then the magic happens within CNC. Little blocks of metal come in, nice, beautiful parts come out. Those times when you were in school and you had your X and Y plane, and then they introduced the Z plane, that's what we live in. They give us the print. The print has all the dimensions, and that's when we'll figure out the different angles and uh, geometry and how close the tolerances are and if we need to be left stock for certain operations. They're then directed into our inspection department. That's where arc tolerances are checked to the print using very high-end measuring tools. From inspection, it then goes to what we call deburring or what we consider our processing, which is actually taking the raw metal and putting our finish on it. And then that kit goes to the department that's going to do the works. It could go to electronic assembly. They do all the electronic component work, making sure that it tests and operates properly. Constructing a lens starts in the lens assembly team. The type of work that we do here is extremely close tolerance because you know, of the high precision lenses that we build. And then followed by lens optimization. Lens optimization is giving soul a piece of glass and a piece of metal that uh, otherwise, you know, can be anywhere. And we put the Panavision style by hand. After that, then there's little details. Wally in the paint shop fills all the engravings, does final coats, as well as refurbishes all the legacy parts. Sometimes I get some those cameras coming back and I get a little bit of dust or sand or something inside of it. I says, where is this coming from? Is it coming from another country? It comes from, a, from the desert? Oh. I don't know. I love it. I love the whole concept of manufacturing and building things and, and drawing up plans. Nobody could duplicate what we do here, you know. And I still have the same butterflies, you know, when you when you see the movie and you know age. I'm a little piece of that movie, you know, on the other side of the lens, but you know. And when you see the logo, you know, it's like you feel proud, you know.